This is Taylor from Wall Street Prep with your fourth PowerPoint Insider Secret, tackling PowerPoint sum functions. So how do you quickly double check your numbers in PowerPoint to make sure that you're presenting the correct information? And here on the next slide, I have two graphics. I have a table of some cash flows that I'm trying to present. I also have that same table of cash flows built out using rectangles here in PowerPoint. The issue is all of these totals down below, both over here from my graphic and my table are incorrect because I've actually deleted out two of the rows that used to be here, but I never came and updated these different totals. So this is why you can never trust totals in PowerPoint. There is no such thing. I repeat, there is no such thing as a sum function here in PowerPoint, even if you're using a PowerPoint table. If I come into PowerPoint, I can prove that to you. So here I have a table, which is gonna behave totally different than a table in Excel. Here it looks like I have this total row. And if you come to the table design tab, this is often mistaken as a sum function total row, which it's not. Notice as I turn it on and off, I'm just getting different formatting down below. So all of these numbers are manually typed in or copy and pasted from Excel. If you have a table like this, you can just copy and paste them into Excel. But what do you do if someone's built a graphic like this? So here I have just a bunch of rectangles with numbers in them. How do you double check this? And if I come to the next slide, here is a classic example of something you might face. So would you trust these millions USD revenue numbers for these three companies? And hopefully your answer is no. Right off the bat, you can see that this total is actually less than the numbers it's actually adding up. If you kind of eyeball this on the right, I have seven columns, all of them which are less than 100 million in revenue, which means that this total has to be south of 700 million in revenue, which obviously brings up the question, is this total correct? Which of course it's not because I deleted some rows and messed up some of the numbers. Now, how would you do this? A lot of people would just start to copy and paste these numbers into Excel. You might even break out your iPhone or smartphone calculator to try to come up with these numbers. But imagine if you had 10, 20, 30, or even 50 graphics like this in a deck, and you needed to make sure that all of these numbers were correct super, super fast. So that's what today's Insider Secret is going to show you how to do. To do that, simply come into PowerPoint. And the first thing you're going to want to do, we are going to totally trash this graphic using these tricks. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit Control Shift D on your keyboard to create a duplicate. All right, of your slide. So this is the slide that we're totally gonna trash to get to the correct totals. The next thing you wanna do is add a picture. I'm just gonna hit Windows Shift S. I'll quickly screen snip and control V to paste a copy of my um, slide as a picture. And this picture is gonna get lost so you don't have to worry about what this looks like. Now, the next thing you need to do is select the numbers in the order you want them. So if you select your numbers vertically, one by one, they will stack up vertically. If you select them horizontally, they're gonna stack up horizontally. In this case, I do want my company one numbers. So you're gonna quickly click through these. I'm not gonna click the total because I know it's incorrect. I'm then going to, holding shift, click my company two numbers. Then I'm going to holding shift, select my company three numbers. And I recommend doing them one by one like this so you make sure you get all of the numbers. I'm gonna move them around. You can see I have all of my numbers. Holding shift, you then wanna select your picture so that we can push this through SmartArt. Now, right off the bat, if you come to the home tab, notice that the SmartArt dropdown is grayed out. So you cannot push rectangles as they are from the home tab into SmartArt, but because we now selected this picture, you can picture format, picture layout, and you can just pop these into a graphic. Now, all of these are gonna look completely ridiculous. It doesn't matter which one you pick. You're gonna select your graphic. It's gonna tear your, gra your graphic apart convert to, convert to text, and kaboom. There are all of your numbers from the shapes now in a single text box that I'll control A to select all, control X to cut them. We'll come back to the slide that we're gonna double check the numbers on. I'm gonna go over to Excel. I'm going to control V to paste them in. I'm gonna paste as text so that it converts to, control V to bold, I don't want everything bold. I'm going to copy that line of text. I'm going to copy the next line of text. X. And from here, now that I have them in these columns, I can simply select this row, Alt equals sign. And there you can see the correct totals that we want to use over in PowerPoint. Now here I have 877.8. I'll copy it. Alt tab back to PowerPoint. You can see someone's lost the seven. I'll control V to paste. I'll paste it as text so that the formatting converts to the rectangle. Here I have 1127. Alt tab. It's supposed to be 1454. Copy. Control V to paste as text. I'll remove the extra space. And here I'm also gonna add the little comma. All right, all of these numbers are manually typed in. And for the final one, 606.3, copy, control V to paste, paste as text, and there you go. Now all of these numbers are 100% correct because we just double checked them, all right, 
in Excel. So the steps to do that again are, you're going to duplicate your slide, you're going to add a picture, and any picture will do because you'll lose it in the conversion process. You'll select the numbers in the order you want them, and this is super, super important, so don't forget this step. If you select them vertically, they'll stack vertically. If you select them horizontally, they'll stack horizontally. You're going to then select your picture, back it through SmartArt using the picture format tab, convert to text, and then double check your numbers in Excel, and if they are incorrect, you will then add them correctly into your PowerPoint slide. So that is your fourth PowerPoint Insider secret and how you can tackle or get around the lack of PowerPoint sum functions so you can quickly double check your PowerPoint numbers to make sure you're presenting the correct information.